Over the past few years, I've been doing a ton of work with AI and building all kinds of AI applications. And in this video, I'm going to share with you five AI frameworks that I wish I learned earlier because they're just so damn useful. And the best part is I have all kinds of free tutorials walking through almost all of these frameworks. So I'll keep the explanation short. And if you want to learn more, you can check those out from the link in the description. With that said, let's get into framework number one, which is Langchain. Now Langchain is primarily a Python based framework for working with LLMs and building Gen AI based applications. It allows you to really easily use multiple LLM providers like OpenAI, for example, and to do things like prompt templates, output parsing, buffer management, storing conversation history, working with vector databases, all of the common things you'll do with LLM apps, Langchain just makes significantly easier. As it says in the name, you can set up various chains of operations that you want to perform and do this in Python with relative ease compared to if you were going to do this completely from scratch. Now I have a few videos on my channel walking through Langchain and I've built all kinds of things like a simple AI choose your own adventure game to something more complicated where you use multiple AI agents to collaborate together to produce a particular output. It's definitely something worth checking out, especially if you're a Python developer, and I'll leave the link to it in the description. Moving on, we go to framework number two, and this is Langflow. Now Langflow is actually a graphical or visual based editor that's very similar to Langchain that allows you to build LLM based apps. But with this, rather than having to write all of the code yourself, you can use a drag and drop or kind of a low code tool that allows you to create these different flows that you can then execute from an API. Here, I'm going to show you a quick example on the computer so it makes a little bit more sense. So here's a quick example of a project I built out just a few days ago to help me generate unique coding questions for my newsletter. By the way, I do have a completely free coding newsletter that provides coding challenges, project ideas, tips, stories, insights. You can check it out from the link in the description. And as an incentive to do that, I'll even provide you a free guide on how to make money from coding. If you simply sign up for that newsletter, you'll get access immediately. Do that down below. Anyways, this is something that I use to generate some of the coding questions for that newsletter. And you can see that this is what the flow looks like. I can have an input. I can put that into some kind of prompt template. I can pass that to an LLM. I can have that connect to something like an AstroDB vector store database. This is where I store all of the previous coding challenges so I can compare them and make sure they're not too similar. I can pass into multiple models. I can have things like if else's and kind of directional branching. And you see that this is just a simple flow that I built out here in order to generate a unique coding question. There's all kinds of components that they have. They have various embeddings. You can build your own agents. You can store conversation memory. You can call different tools. I have a lot of tutorials on this channel showing you how to make some pretty cool and advanced apps using Langflow. Now, the next topic on my list is really more of a tool than it is a framework, but it's still extremely useful, and that is Olama. Now, Olama is a free open source tool that allows you to download and run LLMs locally on your own computer. So this means you can download the best open source models. And rather than paying for something like ChatGPT or trusting your data with a third party, you can do it all locally. Now, obviously, you need some pretty high end hardware if you want to run some of the best models. But this does support CPU and GPU. So let me show you a quick demo of how it works. Then we can talk about some more details. So I have Olama on my computer right now. You can see that I'm running it in the terminal. And I just did Olama Run Llama 3.2, one of the newer models that I downloaded recently. Now I can just do something, you know, like Hello World, and I can chat to this just like I would any other LLM. So now I can use this on my own computer. And if you're a developer, this actually exposes a REST API server, which allows you to send requests to it. So this means from your Python code or your JavaScript code or your C++ code or whatever you want, you can send a request to the server, you can run a model and you can get the response back. So you can use this in your own applications completely locally, or you could deploy it out to some kind of server. You could use it with Docker. There's all kinds of great things you can do with it. Now you can download multiple different models. You can see here, actually, let me just get out of this window that I have a llama list. I have three models here downloaded, Llama 3.2, Mistral, and Llama 2. And obviously there are hundreds of other ones that you could download and use with this tool. Definitely something worth checking out, especially if you have some higher end hardware and you want to take advantage of it using LLMs locally. 
Moving on, the next framework on my list is Llama Index. Now this is pretty similar to LangChain, but it is again a Python based framework, but this has a more heavy focus on documents, data, and specifically building AI apps around enterprise grade data. So you can connect it to multiple different data sources. You can do things like document extraction. It has better text chunking and splitting. And when I've used Llama Index in the past, I just noticed that it was more centered around dealing with a lot of data for your AI agents and the AI apps that you're building. There are a lot of other features. It is a little bit difficult to kind of distinguish between LangChain in just a few seconds here, but really just has a higher focus on data. And that's what a lot of the other products they have like Llama Parse are focused on doing. I have a video on YouTube that walks through how to use Llama Index and build an AI agent that can go out and call multiple tools and use various data sets like a Pandas data frame, for example, to grab relevant information. It's worth checking out, especially if you have a lot of data that you want to analyze with AI. And again, you can do that from the video link in the description. So now we move on to the last framework on my list, which is Hugging Face Transformers. Now this is an open source Python module that makes it significantly easier to work with transformer based models in things like natural language processing, audio processing, video processing, etc. Now this is significantly easier to use than frameworks like PyTorch or TensorFlow. And if you just want to use pre trained models that already exist to solve a particular task, this is definitely what I would go for. This is less intense than using an entire LLM. And if you want to do something like a simple classification task or sentiment analysis, you can probably find a model that's already pretty good at that from Hugging Face and then bring it into Hugging Face Transformers and use it locally in your Python code. There are all kinds of different transformers that you can run completely for free locally on your own machine. And I'm going to give you a quick demo of what some Hugging Face code might look like so you can see how easy it is to use here in Python. Anyways, have a quick look at these simple demos here. So you can see that I've created a sentiment analysis pipeline here directly from transformers. And then I can just classify some string of text and I can see what it was labeled as and what its score was. Continuing, I can do something like a multitask pipeline where I have a summarizer and then I have a translator. So we're summarizing some text and then we're just translating it to French. And all of the strings that you see here are just pre-trained and already provided by transformers. So you don't need to do anything. You don't need to write the code yourself. It's just there and you can use these existing models. So I have some text. It just describes what hugging face is. And then you can see that I create a summary. So I just summarize the text, then I create the translation and then I return the summary and the translation. So if I go here and I run the code, it will just take a second to load some of the models and then we can see the results. So you can see here in this highlighted section, it says sentiment positive score 99.9%. And then if we look down here, we can see that we got a summary and then we got the translation of that summary in French. Obviously, there's a lot more that you can do here, but I just wanted to show you how easy it is to actually utilize these pre-trained models. Anyways, guys, with that said, that's going to wrap up this super short video. If you found this valuable, make sure you leave a like. Don't forget to join the newsletter for free from the link in the description, and I will see you in another video.